Oh yeah, thanks for the uh, stretch here. I'll, I should take a stretch because probably hunched. But yeah, I've been, you know, it's it can sometimes be tough to get yourself in the headspace of actually working and forming the habit of drawing the thing you're supposed to draw. And one good thing, or at least one way to, I guess, mitigate that, or at least try to force yourself to do it, is to find a way to have the thing that you're going to draw as close to in front of you as possible. So, say you have, you know, say a uh, writing project. If you set up your desk so there's nothing else but that writing project right in front of you, it'll, it's always on your desk. It's always going to be there. Yeah, if you keep your thing, if you keep your art thing or your writing thing or the task that you need to do close by, like at least a note or maybe it half finished in a spot, you'll be able to at least keep it on your mind because eventually your brain will say, yes, I do need to work on it. And you'll at least start working on it. And when you start working on it, it'll, it will, what's it, domino into you actually working on it for real. You have all the time in the world. You can either do nothing or you can do your art. There's this uh, Neil Gaiman quote, actually, uh, where it's like, you can either do nothing or you can write. Um, I would go down to my lovely little gazebo, bottom of the garden, sit down, and I'm absolutely allowed not to do anything. Not allowed to do a crossword, not allowed to read a book, not allowed to phone a friend. All I'm allowed to do is absolutely nothing or write. And what I love about that is I'm giving myself permission to write or not write. He's able to stay pretty productive because he just sets things up where he has nothing else to do but write. Sometimes just putting yourself in, I guess, a a non-stimulated state where you turn off your phone or you get rid of your phone. Like, you put yourself in a room with nothing but, like, a chair, a notebook, or... Maybe like a tiny Chromebook with just Microsoft Word or whatever. And because you're bored, you're able to activate your imagination much easier because, well, you're bored. You don't have you don't have much to do. And you want to do something to alleviate that boredom. 